Here we're asked to solve the quadratic 3t squared plus t minus 4 equals to 0. Now by solve what is meant is find values or one value for t. So to do that we're going to factorise our quadratic and then find values for t. So we're going to use the guide number method here. So in the guide number method we multiply the t squared coefficient which is 3, so that's the number beside the t squared, by the constant which in this case is minus 4. So always be careful with signs, make sure you multiply by minus 4. So 3 by minus 4 is equal to minus 12. Next step, we find the factors of the guide number, which is minus 12. So we start with minus 1, multiply by 12, and 1, multiply by minus 12. Next, minus 2, multiply by 6, and similarly, 2, multiply by minus 6. With minus 3, multiply by 4, and 3, multiply by minus 4. So once you've all the factors listed, Next, you want to find the set of factors that add up to the t coefficient. So the coefficient of t here is plus 1. So it says plus t here, that means plus 1t. So plus 1 is our middle number, or our t coefficient. So which numbers here, when added together, will give us plus 1? If we analyse it, we can see minus 3 and plus 4. So how we use these is, we rewrite our equation using that information. So 3t squared stays the same, plus t will change to minus 3t plus 4t. So we're using the numbers gained from the last step. And our constant stays the same, minus 4, it's all equal to 0. Next, we factorise by grouping. So 3t squared and minus 3t have common factor 3t, so they can go together. 4t and minus 4 have a common factor of 4, so they can go together. So it's 3t by 3t squared divided by the common factor 3t. The common factor here is plus 4, so we'll divide everything by plus 4. Next, we'll complete our division. So 3t squared divided by 3t is just t. 3 divided by 3 is 1. t squared divided by t is just t. 3t divided by 3t is 1. Next, we have 4t divided by 4, which just leaves us with t. And minus 4 divided by 4 is minus 1. Minus divided by a plus is a minus. And that's all equal to 0. If you analyse what we have now in our equation, you can see we have a common factor of t minus 1. So we have 3t by t minus 1 and 4 by t minus 1. So we can write that in a shorter way. We can just write this 3t plus 4, two numbers outside the brackets, by t minus 1, the common factor. That's all equal to 0. At this point, we have the product of two numbers. In other words, two numbers multiplied to give us 0. Any time you have two numbers multiplied to give you zero, that means one or both of them are equal to zero. So either 3t plus 4 is equal to zero, or t minus 1 is equal to zero. From this, we can figure out values for t. So we'll start with the left hand side. We want to get t on its own, so what we'll do is we'll take 4 from both sides get rid of the 4 on this side. So 3t plus 4 minus 4, so plus 4 minus 4 is 0, so it just leaves us with 3t is equal to 0 minus 4, which is minus 4. As we said, we want to get t on its own, so what we'll do is, we'll divide both sides by 3, So 3t divided by 3 is t. Minus 4 over 3, we'll just leave it as it is. So that gives us the fraction minus 4 over 3. You can write it as minus 1 and a third also. So that gives us one value of t. t is equal to minus 4 over 3. On this side, we'll get another value for t. So again, we want to get t on its own. So we'll add 1 to both sides. So 
So by adding 1 to both sides we get rid of the minus 1. And that leaves us with t on its own. 0 plus 1 is 1. So that gives us t equal to 1. So that means t is equal to minus 4 over 3 or t is equal to 1.